King of TV Bowling presents The Gilmore Lanes Sunday Shootout. Brought to you by Sam Adams, Pursue Better. Furniture Fair, Style and Flair, your best buy is at Furniture Fair. CheapBowlingBalls.com, the only thing cheap is our prices. Our house, the professional's choice. And by Logo Infusion, the best bowling jerseys in the game. Good afternoon, everyone. Vic Amon here for another edition of the King of TV Bowling Sweeper Series. Today we are Gilmore Lanes for the Sunday Shootout. And today we had another free ball giveaway. Thanks to Bowler's Edge Pro Shop. CheapBowlingBalls.com and the King of TV Bowling Facebook and YouTube page. As we threw everybody's name in a bucket there, everybody got a ticket with a free entry for a chance for a Hammer Rodman or a Maverick Pearl. And the lucky winner of this week's free bowling ball, Carell. Encarnacion. Congratulations, Corell, on winning your Maverick Pearl. We also had some highlights to show you from this week's qualifying. Uh, let's get a look at Joel Ray for his attempt for a perfect 300 game. As his first shot in the 10th was solid in a pocket. His 11th ball went a little light shaker, but he finishes with a great 289. Uh, the action kept up as J-Dub, Jonathan Woods, putting a bid in himself. Uh, he had a scout in his first shot in the 10th. Tugged one, went Brooklyn for his number 11th. And the final shot, flush in the 1-3 for a perfect 300 game. So congratulations, Jonathan Woods. All right, well, these guys are getting warmed up here for today's Step Ladder Finals. Uh, we got a couple familiar faces in today's final three matches. We're going to have last week's champion, uh, Seth White, who uh, got through qualifying and Defeated the top seed, Joel Ray, in the first round of match play. And he is going to face off against the Buckeye Bell, Nedra Nickting. So this is going to be an exciting match here, folks. Uh, Seth is the higher of the two. Or, I'm sorry, Nedra is the higher of the two. She's going to make Seth start uh, the match first on the left-hand lane. Uh, today we are on 19 and 20 at Gilmore Lanes. Uh, we try and change it up from week to week. Getting a little bit of different uh, house characteristics from uh, show to show here. As each pair has its own uh, old school characteristics. As Seth makes a good first pitch right out of the gate. Goes a little bit high, leaving a four pin. We'd like to thank everybody that stopped on out to uh, Gilmore Lanes this weekend. We had another great showing for week three of the CheapBowlingBalls.com free ball giveaway. Uh, just a reminder, folks, uh, the following week, uh, the last week of the October uh, events, we are going to suspend this week due to a fundraising giveaway that's going to be held at the Florence Bowling Center. Uh, but we will be returning the week after that for the final free ball giveaway, which will be a Hammer Rodman. 
So Nedra starts out of the gates hot. She uh, rips the rack, gets a great break, and jumps out to a quick lead. Uh, this is a handicap event today, folks. So uh, Nedra is currently getting a couple sticks on Seth here. She goes flush in the 1-3 again, leaving a smash 10 pin. Uh, she is getting 12 pins in this matchup. It is a handicapped event. 80% of 220 based on your USBC book average. So it's a level playing field for everybody. Uh, you can come on out. This is going to be a modified house pattern. Nothing too extravagant or outrageous to shoot on. Basically just... Uh, Lace them up, get out there, and let the pins fly. So Nedra brings that spare back. She has 20 in the first, with a spare up in the second. With her sticks of handicap, she is currently at 32. Uh, Seth looking to get something going here, as he's got a little bit of ground to make up. He makes a great shot there, folks. Let's check that one out on the Samuel Adams Boston Logger Replay. Ball coming in late behind the head pin. Sending it off the sideboard. There was nothing left on the deck. Seth ripping that rack for a second frame strike. And he is on the strike train. So let's see if he can turn that into a quick double here. And chip away at that early lead that Nedra has on him. That whipping arm swing. And he goes through the nose, right through the heart, leaving the semi-difficult to bring back. Three, four, six, seven, ten split. He's going to have to cut down the hook here and shoot that three pin over. And unfortunately, he chops the three off the six ten. He goes six out in that frame and has dug himself a little bit of hole. Uh, with that open, that puts him at 42 in the third. Uh, Nedra currently on a spare. Can take a easily 20-pin lead here. She gets set. Five-step delivery going up the boards. And a good shot there by Nedra. Just not enough to get the uh, pesky 10-pin out. So she leaves a half-10. She is going to change to a harder surface friction ball, cut down the hook, and try and bring this spare back. As she utilizes the modern day visit sleeves. Switches out the thumb from ball to ball, so she has the same feel, and she brings that spare back. So she was unable to uh, jump on that open, but staying clean, she retains her lead. Uh, she's currently up by nine sticks. Looking to make it 19 at this point. We'd like to give a shout out to uh, Chris Woods and Jonathan Woods and the gang out here at Gilmore Lanes. As always, they got this place looking top notch. Real nice center, classic old school feel with the modern day attributes that bowling proprietors offer. And Nedra makes a great shot there, snapping out that 10 pin. So she builds on her lead. And Seth's got to recover here and get back on. Six-step delivery, and the shaker didn't work this time for him. Went thin in the pocket again, leaving a seven pin. Normally, the carry percentage for a shot like that at Gilmore is uh, through the roof. You know, uh, the more high flush hit here tends to tap the bowlers, whereas the light mixer or swisher 
as a higher carry percentage, but not this time. But he brings the spare back. Let's see what he's got in store for us on the left-hand lane here. Playing in around the track. A little bit of belly out to about six. And the ball's creeping high, so... At this point in time, it's looking like this pair is showing a little bit of the transition phase as the balls are starting to overreact off the drive. But he brings that spare back, and he's trying to stay clean here. He's going to need some kind of opening here from Nedra. He's going to need a little help to get back in it as he is currently still 10 pins down in this match. Nedra looking to take a 21 pin lead here. As she is on a strike, looking to make it a double. And she gets a great break, folks. Let's check that one out on the Samuel Adams Boston Logger replay. Hitting them thin to win, as Slam and Sam used to say. Dicing it up, getting that late break. And Nedra takes a big lead now in this point in this match with a sanctioned double. Looking to pour it on here with a three-bagger turkey time. So let's see if she can get three in a row here. Going right up the track again. Great shot there by Nedra Nickting. She's got three in a row. And the pressure is on. So let's see what young Seth White here can do. Uh, he answered the challenge last week. Let's see if he can give it a go here. He's dug himself a little bit of a hole. And Nedra is looking like she's going to take it all the way to the wall. Seth making a little bit of adjustment, sending that one wide, mixing it up. Got that wall shot to work this time. So he gets back on board the strike train. Looking to make it a double here. As he's currently 30 pins down in this match. He's going to have to chip away. He's going to have to match Nedra shot for shot here and hope for something to work out in his favor. He swung that one wide, folks. Knew it right off the release point. Just got way wide as he leaves the 1-2-4. He's going to have to cover the pins with the ball here right down the line. He goes the outside. Works just as good. So he's got a spare in the seventh frame, which gives him 101 in the sixth with a spare in the seventh. Uh, Nedra currently has one, I'm sorry, 89 in the fourth, looking to make it 119 in the fifth. And she leaves a half 10 pit. So with her handicap, she's currently sitting at 130 after that shot. Uh, spare here or put her at 150. So she is out to a comfortable lead. She has to stay out of trouble here, bring this spare back. And she'll be looking good to make it on to the next round here. Tug that one, folks. That was trouble. So that's the break that Seth White was looking to get uh, as Nedra flags the 10 pin. She definitely uh, has given him a chance to crawl back in it. So with that open, that puts her at 158. And warming up on the 23 and 24 pairs, we're going to have the Next uh, contestant, which is Steve Spencer. So the winner of this match will face off against Steve. But we got two frames to three frames to go here. Nedra goes high through the nose, leaving the 3-6. So it looks like that Miss Spare is shaking her up a little bit as she was dialed in on this left-hand lane. She just needs to calm down and 
retain her thoughts and bring this spare back. She'll still be sitting in good shape here. And she just does bring it back, so. So Nedra covers up the spare in the eighth frame there, giving her 158. Uh, Seth White's got to go sheet. They have any chance in this match. Strike here will put him at 121. He goes wide again. Caught a little bit of that transition carry down. Ball did not finish. And he leaves the dreaded 2 8 10 split. As he goes two hand for the spare attempt backup ball. Takes two out, giving him nine out total. As he has 127 in the eighth, his max potential at this point is 187. But he makes a great shot there, flush in the 1 3. I'm sure he wants that last shot back. But unfortunately, he has put himself in a tough spot. Uh, Nedra just needs to stay in the building and get decent count, and she is going to move on to face off against Steve Spencer. She does better than that, folks. She rips the rack there, gets that light shaker, and she has locked up her spot to make it the match number two today. We're just going to kind of go through the motions here. She has already posted with her handicap. She'll be in the high 180s. The best, the best that Seth can do at this point is 187. So she's just got to keep it on the lane here. And she does even better than that. Great shot by Nedra. Snapping out that 10 pin. Her max potential scratch is 226. With her pins, she will be in the 230s. Great shot there by Nedra. And a good spot for that with the solid eight. As Seth gets up here, looking to close it out. But a good showing today by Seth. Just uh, had a couple bad breaks there. One bad pitch in the uh, the match. But uh, Seth's a great competitor, and he'll definitely be back. Him and his brother Nolan, they all travel down here from the Franklin, Ohio area. And we appreciate them stopping out to uh, support the uh, Sweeper Series. So Nedra finishes at 227 with her handicap. Seth looking to bang it out here, and he does, so he makes it respectable, shooting 187. But your winner today of the first match is Nedra Nick Team, 227 to 187. All right, folks, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be back with match number two. Uh, now a word from Anthony and Ed from Furniture Fair. Anthony, what are you doing? I'm getting fitted so I can get the right mattress to help me get a great night's sleep. You don't need to do that. Furniture Fair's bed match diagnostic system does it for you. They can custom fit a mattress for you in just three minutes. Our sleep specialists use the latest technology to take the guesswork out of buying a mattress to help your body stay properly aligned and supported while you sleep. Have you been fitted? Find the right mattress for you only at the Furniture Fair Sleep Center. Follow me 
Alright folks, we are back. As we are getting ready to start things off in match number two today. At Gilmore Lanes. We are going to have the Buckeye Bell, Nedra Nickting, face off against Steve Spencer. And this should be another exciting match today folks. Uh, Steve is the higher of the two today and he is elected to make Nedra start the match out. Uh, as we stated, this is a handicapped event today. 80% of 220. So there's a seven pin difference between the two bowlers today. As Nedra gets 12, Steve gets 19. So the Buckeye Bell looking to start it out here and she makes an excellent first pitch, flushing the one three. So she gets on board the strike train early. She just defeated Seth White, last week's champion. Steve Spencer here. Classic up the boards. Looking to get something going, and he gets that light Wally. Hitting him thin to win, as Slam and Sam used to say. So Steve's shaking him up in his first pitch. Looking to make it a quick double here. Steve is throwing the new uh, Trident Quest. So we're getting a look at some of that new equipment that's available on the market. Looks like Nedra is throwing the Sherlock today. Steve getting a great break as he got the love tap on the 10. Starts out with a quick double on Nedra. So he's putting a little bit of pressure on her as he gets seven pins. Jumps out to a quick lead on her. Nedra didn't like the way something felt. She resets. Gets everything back together here and five step delivery up the boards gets a great break so she gets a wall shot of her own there on that right hand lane so both of these bowlers are off to a great start in this semi-final match uh, the winner of this match folks we got a special for you coming up we'll face off against one of the former Shaneling all-stars Chuck Edmondson that's right folks as Nedra makes a great pitch, going light in the pocket, leaving the half ten. Chuck's been working hard on his game to get back into it. 70 plus years young. And lo and behold, he has become the top seed in today's step ladder finals. So should be an exciting match coming up here as one of these two will face off against the former Shaneling All-Star. Nedra brings that spare back. And she currently has posted 61 with her handicap. 49 scratch in the second with a spare up in the third. Steve Spencer on a double here looking to make it three in a row. So he goes right up the track as well. Gets another great break, folks. Let's check that one out on the Samuel Adams Boston Logger replay. Six pin off the sideboard gets the kiss on the 10. Steve Spencer has the first three. So he is putting the pressure on the Buckeye Bell. Looking to make it four in a row here. So he gets set here. Four-step delivery. Ball finishing behind the head pin. Was not driving at all. As he leaves the dreaded 5-7 split. Not impossible to bring back by any means. Uh, he's going to have to cut the 5-pin thin. Send it over into the 7. Give it a chance. 
not quite as the five pin shot behind the seven so a little chink in the armor there by Steve Spencer as he goes nine out that gives him 105 total with his handicap uh, 77 in the third with that open puts him at 86 scratch in the fourth so a little bit of a window here by Nedra Nickting as she is on a spare looking to get back on the strike train She makes another great pitch there. She went with the heater, folks. The frozen rope to the pocket. So she gets back on and chips away at that lead. A double here, and she'll be right back in this match. Folks, you too could be our next featured champion. Uh, as we usually state, you can come out to one of our many sweeper qualifiers uh, every Sunday at 1 o'clock. As Nedra gets a great break tripping out the four pin, takes advantage and gets that double. Every Sunday at 1 o'clock, you can come out to Gilmore Lanes. Uh, we hold three game qualifiers out here every Sunday at that time for a $30 entry fee. Uh, you get your chance to bowl against the area's best with the finals to be recorded on our King of TV YouTube channel. As Steve makes a great shot there. I bet he wished he had that fourth frame back. But nonetheless, he gets back on the strike train. And we got ourselves a little bit of a match here now. As things has tightened up considerably. But folks, stop on out to Gilmore at 1. Uh, this week coming up, though, we will be suspending the sweeper as we are holding a charity event for Nick Volasang down at Florence Bowl. Uh, you can contact Adrian Guzman for information on that. Uh, this will be a charity tournament where we are holding doubles and singles. And all the footage is going to be recorded and put on our page for that as well. Uh, Nick is in a little bit of a trouble. He needs a heart transplant. So all proceeds from that event will be going towards Nick's recovery. And good luck to him as he is one of our local greats. So these two are heating up now. Nedra gets a double. I'm sorry, she's on three in a row. Steve got a double. And the match is definitely tightened up as it's swung a little bit in Nedra's favor here. One more and she jumps out to a moderate lead looking to make it four in a row here great shot there by Nedra leaving the half ten she's gonna cut it down and try and bring that spare back also every Sunday at 630 we also hold qualifiers at Colerain Bowl uh, they currently run a sports shot pattern each week, sporter challenge pattern. Uh, they rotate it around, give bowlers a little bit more of a skilled challenge than on a house pattern. Uh, entry fee for that is $35. You can contact Todd McGill at a Coring Bowl, and he'll get you squared away with information on that. That's every Sunday at 6.30. So Nedra brings that spare back. Steve looking to take advantage here. As a strike here will give him 116 in the fifth. But unfortunately he leaves a rip seven pin. So that gives him 115 in the fifth. As he has a strike up in the sixth. The spare here will give him 135 scratch. Got to bring this spare back, though. And he yanked it, but he got away with it. So I thought that one was going to roll off, but he was throwing that sniper. The harder surface friction ball, and it just hung on there for him. So he recovers and makes that spare, giving him 135 in the sixth with a spare up in the seventh. Uh, with his pins, he is currently at 154, so he is six pins down in this match. As he's looking to change that, but he goes high, leaving the 3 6 10. So 
So he could have taken advantage and got back in this match, but unfortunately he goes through the nose. So he's going to have to try and keep it clean here and hope for a break. So he changes to the sniper and he brings that spare back. So Steve staying clean, making a spares. Currently has 171 total with a spare up in the eighth. His max potential scratch, though, will be 232. Nedra Nicting can go out for 258. So let's see what the Buckeye Bell's got in store for us here. She goes light in the pocket. Leaves a five pin. Uh, ball just skidding the whole way. She seemed to have been throwing the ball a little bit harder at this point. Opting for the straighter angle. But it resulted in the ball sliding into the pocket instead of rolling. So had a little bit of deflection leaving the five pin. She looks to bring that back. And she does. So with that single pin spare conversion... That currently puts her at 167 in the 7th with a spare up in the 8th. Uh, her max potential now is 247. Uh, with her pins, that'll put her in the 250s. So things have tightened up a little bit. She makes a great pitch there, good recovery. Ball rolling up flush in the 1 3. And she has a strike up in the ninth. Well, the stage is set for uh, Steve Spencer here. As his max potential is 232 scratch. He can still shoot 251 with his handicap. As he goes up the track again, makes a great shot there. Flush in the 1 3. Foundation ninth frame. So Steve looking to take this out here. Another great shot, but unfortunately leaves the solid 10 pin. And that opens the door for Nedra, as Steve could have locked out the Buckeye Bell. He's got to bring this spare back, though. He yanks it inside of his mark, flags the 10 pin. He is not pleased about that, folks. Shooting 200 scratch with his handicap puts him at 219. So unfortunate there by Steve Spencer as he made a critical mistake in a crucial spot in the 10th frame. At this point, Nedra just needs a mark, and she will move on to today's final match. She currently has 187 in the 8th with a strike up in the ninth. So a solid mark, and she is going to move on today. Makes a great shot. And this one's over, folks, as she shreds the rack. Let's check it out. Don't have to worry about the ball driving this time, folks. She got plenty of hand in that one. As she sent the 5-pin into the 7, head pin came off the sideboard. Nothing was left. Nedra Nickting is going to move on to face one of the former Shaneling All-Stars, Chuck Edmondson. So this should be an exciting final. She fills it out here, solid 10-pin. Looking to cover this up. So a great showing today by Nedra Nickting. Tough break by Steve Spencer, but a good showing nonetheless by Steve. We appreciate you stopping out, Steve, and supporting the Sweeper Series.
We know you'll definitely be back. Nedra covers up. And we'll move on to today's final. Final score of match number two today. Nedra Nick Ting, 248. Steve Spencer, 219. All right, folks, we're going to take another quick commercial break, and we will be back with today's final match. At Furniture Fair, we don't have stores all across the country. We're located right here in the tri-state area. Our customers aren't numbers, they're neighbors. Your kids probably go to school with our kids, and chances are your furniture is our furniture. So the next time you're thinking new living room, New bedroom. Think Furniture Fair, the Tri-State Area's furniture and mattress superstore. For more than 53 years, locally owned, Cincinnati grown. I'd say 10. 4, 5, 12. How many different beers do you think Sam Adams brews in a year? I think Sam Adams brews about 10 different beers a year. I can think of the Boston Lager. Summer Ale. October Fest. Terry Wheat. Ooh, Terry Wheat. Chocolate Bach. Are you still pulling them out? Sam Adams brews over 60 different styles of beer a year. I'm shocked. This is crazy. So obviously we were wrong. I had no idea Sam Adams made this many. Can I just take them all with me? This definitely changes my perspective on Sam Adams. All right, folks, we are back. As the final contestants are warming up for today's finale. We're going to get a look at Chuck Edmondson, one of the former Shaneling All-Stars. He is going to face off today against the Buckeye Bell, Nedra Nickting. So... Should be an interesting final match as both of these bowlers are going to be playing around the same track area. Uh, the lanes are showing a little bit of transition at this point, so let's see how uh, Chuck can handle it here. Uh, Nedra seemed to pump up the ball speed as Chuck is 70-plus years young. Looking to get back into the swing of things in his game. One of Cincinnati's finest for many years. He's got that golden arm swing going up the boards. Plenty of ball roll today by Chuck as he's flushing the 1-3 on his first pitch. Makes a great first shot. And he is on the board. Nedra Nickting looking to match Chuck shot for shot. As we stated, today is a handicap event. As she gets the light wall, he hitting them thin to win, as Slam and Sam used to say. Getting that... Great light shaker on the right-hand lane. As we stated, this is a handicap event, 80% of 220, based on the latest USBC book. And Chuck's going to be getting eight pins in this match. That'll be the difference between the two. So he has jumped out to an eight-pin lead. But Nedra throwing the frozen rope again. The high hard one right up the pipe. And she gets a quick double. Trying to make up those sticks early. We'll see how the All-Star handles that pressure. And for those that don't know, uh, Chuck was a part of the Traveling Shaneling All-Stars. A group of gentlemen that uh, posted exhibitions from one center to the other in the Cincinnati Tri-State area. Sponsored by the Shaneling Brewery. Uh, these champions would face off against Cincinnati's Finest in a five-person exhibition match. Uh, Chuck was a member of the All-Stars from 64 all the way into the 70s. And he would be bowling with the likes of the great Eddie Jackson, Hank Hetz, Pinky Fath, uh, Gene Taylor, Jack O'Leary, Rudy Fassel, and Larry Rankin, amongst others. Uh, it was a part of a generation when bowling was at the peak in the tri-state area. But it's slowly coming back around, folks. Things run in a circle, and we're going to try and get something like that back in the Cincinnati tri-state area. So Chuck brings that spare back. 
giving him 20 in the first with a spare up in the second uh, with his bonus pins. He is currently sitting at 40. Uh, Nedra on a double, looking to chip away at that lead. Let's see if Chuck can hold this left-hand lane and strike again. Five-step approach, golden arm swing, and he gets another one there, folks, tripping out the seven pin. So he's trying to keep that pressure on the Buckeye Bell here. As Nedra going up the boards again, leaving the solid 10 pin. She's going to change balls here and cut down the hook and try and bring this spare back. Unfortunately, she flags the spare, yanked it inside of her mark, and buzzed it like a flyby in Tom Cruise's Top Gun. Not what you want to do at this point against uh, one of the All-Stars. Chuck's still got the fire burning, and he's looking to get a win today. So Nedra does not want to give him any opportunities. But unfortunately, she opens up, and it's going to have to regroup here. See what she does here on the left-hand lane. She pulled inside of her mark. And gets a terrible break going through the heart, leaving the Greek church. The ever difficult to pick up. Four, six, seven, nine, ten. And this one's tough, folks. Uh, she's going to have to cut the six pin thin. Hopefully the 6 will take out the 9 and then careen over into the 4-7. So a very difficult combination. And at this point in the match, as she's already has opened up once, uh, two opens in a row against Chuck Edmondson would not be wise. So let's see if she can bring this back. Fortunately, she didn't even give it a chance as the ball drops into the channel. And she is not happy, folks. So with that open, Nedra is at 74 total with her pins. That gives her 62 in the fourth. Chuck Edmondson, spare, strike, spare, strike. Looking to double up here and take advantage of those two opens. You know what they say on tour, when your opponent opens, double up. Well, she gave two openings to Chuck, so let's see what he's going to do here with it. He makes a great pitch there, flush in the 1-3. Just another day at the office for the Shaneling All-Star here. As he has jumped out to a comfortable lead. So Chuck gets a sanction double, looking to make it three in a row here. If you're interested in checking out uh, information on what the Shaneling All-Stars were all about, uh, look up our Facebook page, uh, King of TV Bowling. Uh, be sure to like the page and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Uh, we try and share all the tri-state history that we can on our page. A lot of the videos and uh, clippings are donated from local bowlers in the area as we're trying to get all that archived for everyone to enjoy. Be sure to check that out and send us a message. If you've got anything you would like to share with us, we'd be more than glad to get that content taken care of for you. So Chuck brings the four pin back as he went a little bit high. So currently at this point with his pins, he is sitting at 109 in the fifth. Uh, Nedra, not out of the match yet, so 
I've seen this girl perform and she can put a string together with the best of them. So let's see what she can do here. She's a fighter. She gets set here. Five step delivery, right up the pipe again. And there we go, snapping out the 10 pin. Let's check that one out on the Samuel Adams Boston Logger replay. Ball finishing flush in the one three, six pin up around. Snapping out that 10, so Nedra stops the bleeding, applies the tourniquet, and let's see if she can get on board as she has started the strike train. Let's see if she can make it a quick double and chip away and get back in this match. She's right up the track again. Great shot. She went with the hard one there. Flushing the one three. And she's got herself a double. So Nedra looking to build on that. She can still go out in the 240s. Scratch. Um, with her pin, she'll be in the 250s. Chuck, at this point in time. Has a 250 potential of his own, Scratch. And could easily be in the 260s with his handicap. So, as he makes another great pitch on that right hand lane. Keeping the pressure on, Nedra. Looking to make it a double here. As he is still in a comfortable point in this match lead-wise. 30 plus pins. Looking to build on that. Chuck Edmondson. Another great shot there, folks. Let's check that one out on this. Samuel Adams, Boston Logger Replay. Ball finishing. High flush in the 1-3. Six pin. Just nicking the 10. Getting a love tap like Don Carter. Chuck Edmondson has retained his lead and looking to keep it that way. But Nedra Nickting looking to do something about that here. She can get three in a row. Slightly chip away at that lead. And she shreds the rack. Great shot there by Nedra. Snapping out the 10. Head pin taking out the 7. She's got a turkey. Looking to make it four in a row. And climb back in this match. So she's got a tiger by the tail here. And doesn't want to let go. But she's got to have this shot here. They have any shot in this match. Let's watch. Great pitch there by Nedra. Flush in the 1 3. She has issued the challenge back to Chuck Edmondson. All right, folks. Well, things have heated up here. Uh, Nedra Nickting on four in a row. Her max potential is in the 240s. Uh, Chuck Edmondson can still bang it out scratch for 250. So let's see here. He can go out for 59 with his pins. He can still finish at 279 with his handicap. It's Chuck going up the boards here. Boy, he is money today, folks. Another shot flush in the 1-3. Just going about his business as he was staring down a four-bagger by Nedra Nickting. Didn't bat an eye. Just got up there and put it right in the pipe. He is making it look easy today, folks. That's what makes this game so special. Any age, any style. Just get out there and practice. And you could be our next featured champion.
on the King of TV Sweeper Series. Chuck making another great shot. Flush in the 1-3. That ball is working overtime, folks. As he has just put the pressure back on Nedra. She has got to go out here to have any chance today in this match. So a crucial ninth frame coming up for her. As she's trying to go for five in a row here. Great shot by Nedra. Gets a break, smacking it out as she throws an excellent shot. Six pin going around, getting the 10. Head pin off the sideboard, taking out the seven. You are out of here. Nedra Nickting is back in this match. But she's got to keep the pressure on. She's not done yet. Uh, the situation is pretty much cut and dry. She can't lock out Chuck Edmondson, but she can push him. So she's got to have the first one here. Great shot there by Nedra getting a terrible break. Solid 10 pin in a key situation. But she's going to have to stay clean here. Uh, it's not over yet. A spare and a fill. We'll make Chuck show up in the 10th frame here. She's had her share of missed 10 pins today, so see if she can bring this one back. And at a crucial point in this match, she brings that spare back. So props to her. She regroups, covers up. With a fill, that'll put her at 221 scratch. And with her pins, that'll put her in the 230s. But there's nothing she can do at this point as it's going to come down to the wire here. And she needs a solid count here. And she gets a strike, so... Great game today by Nedra Nickting. Battle back from two open frames. Yes, she has posted 233 with her handicap. So great game there by Nedra. Chuck needs a good mark here. And he will be this week's champion. He needs to stay out of trouble. Makes a great shot there. Wow, folks, let's check that one out. As Chuck's looking to put the match on ice, there's a great pitch that leaves the stone eight pin. But that's going to be enough today, folks, with a spare. Chuck will easily be in the 240s. Brought that spare back. Great game today by Chuck. Kept it clean. Stayed out of trouble. Made his spares. And put a small string together. I just hope when I'm his age, I'll be able to throw the ball as good as he is right now. As Chuck is looking solid right now. Looking to fill it out here. Almost got the Wally, but nine out. As he finishes with 257 today. Great game by Chuck. He shot 237 scratch. Your winner, Chuck Edmondson, 257 to 233 over Nedra Nick Folks, you can catch all this great action on YouTube TV, brought to you by Cincinnati Bell Phi Optics. This King of TV Bowling Sweeper Series has been sponsored by
Sam Adams. Pursue better. Hammer. Nothing hits like a hammer. Logo Infusion. The best bowling jerseys in the game. Powerhouse. The professional's choice. CheapBowlingBalls.com. The only thing cheap is our prices. And by Furniture Fair. For style and flair, your best buy is at Furniture Fair. <music> Folks, if you like this great action, please be sure to like and subscribe to the King of TV Bowling on YouTube. Thanks for viewing, everyone. Until next time.